Hey, what's up, everyone? You know who it is, and I'm just doing my dazzle settings just because I kind of felt like it, and I feel like I need to get mine out there because I get pretty good quality. And my last commentary that I uploaded, I didn't get the greatest quality, but I found some settings the other day that are really, really good. And if you want to see my quality test, click on the screen and you can go watch it. I think it's some of the best quality. Uh, it's the, definitely the most consistent. That's what I find wrong with some people's um, dazzle settings is that they're very inconsistent and just one little thing I have to mention is that dazzles are very inconsistent and not every setting not all settings will work for your dazzle I know my settings don't work for like my friends dazzle so if these settings don't work for you don't be a don't be do don't be good English don't be a douche and mention that your settings suck because you're just gonna have to try to find some settings that work for you um, like I said the not all settings work for every dazzle it's weird I don't get how that happens because they're all the same but some for some reason it just it just matters so anyways let's get into it my pinnacle studio is not on this computer it's on my other one so I took snapshots of it here's my settings you can get to this by going to the bottom of pinnacle studio 12 and it's right next to start record you can't miss it if you miss it you need some help but of course your capture source I didn't go over that just because you obviously want your dazzle your capture format you want your preset to be mpeg dash one half and your your uh, whatever this is called I guess it's called DVD compatible set to high quality DVD that's the most important part in there so that's all I'm gonna focus on next your your actual settings uh, you notice that I am using an S video cable that makes a huge difference um, composite cables are like the worst quality ever I think they're like worse than an easy cap almost even though an easy cap is pretty bad anyways but they're don't just copy these down I ha I do have one mistake uh, this is your contrast and you actually want to set this up to about four dots uh, that's what I usually have it at I don't know why I had it set to default on this but that's not what you want it at so set up four three to four dots is pretty good then you want to set your sharpness down and everything else to default uh, your sharpness all the way down sorry about that um, and that is that and you just want to make your video and then put it into Sony Vegas and here's what you're going to want to do first obviously get your clip in there so I'm just going to use this and I'm going to have to scale it down to something I don't know uh, alright let's find something to use Hope you guys like my little beatbox. I'm so black. It's kind of crazy. All right, so I just scaled my video down, and here's what you're gonna want to do right away. Um, you guys are gonna notice that a dazzle comes with black bars that are very annoying. Easy way to get rid of that: Re right-click on the video and go to maintain aspect ratio. Uncheck that. Check reduce interlace flickering and select desample resample or disable resample and click OK on that bad boy right there and then you're gonna wanna crap <laughs> ha crop out those black lines I have a template just crop them out it's pretty simple just by dragging these things in so that you can't see the black lines anymore and then you're done with that and now for your project video properties it's this little button right there uh, for your template, I have HDV 720, 30p, 1280x720, 29.970 FPS. Uh, it's right here. It's on Avery Vegas. Um, you guys got to remember this is for a Dazzle. Uh, a lot of people watch tutorials on HD PVRs, and those are much different. They always tell you to go to 59 frames per second, or like 60 technically if you round up. Um, you do not want to do that with a Dazzle. It's not going to do anything. It, like... It's not going to improve your quality or anything. It, it only works if you have a PVR. So now that that's out of the way, you're with 1280, height 720, um, field order none, uh, pixel aspect ratio one, output rotation zero, zero, Spanish for you. Frame rate, you're going to have it 29.970 NTSC. Pixel format, 8 bit. Um, some people use 32 bit floating point full range. It doesn't really make a difference, really, I think. It just kind of makes everything darker. So I just stick with 8-bit. Um, full resolution rendering quality best. 
motion blur to Gaussian deinterlace method blend fields. It doesn't get rid of it completely, but it's better than having those lines show up everywhere. Um, and then you can go ahead and start all new projects with this. Doesn't really matter. Click apply. OK. And here is some of my uh, video effects that I add. So I add sharpen. I just add reset to none. It doesn't do much, but it does help. Um, whoops, I added that to the wrong thing. I added it to the video track just because it's easier to add and delete stuff if I needed to. And then I go to soft contrast and add soft moderate contrast. Uh, just the default again. And then here's something that you guys are going to have to copy down. I go to quick blur and I add that just to get rid of some of the deinterlace lines. Or whatever you call them. I don't know what you call them. Interlace lines. And you just want to set it to 4.477. That will get, that will make it just a little bit better. And that's all I do. Now for probably one of the most important parts, your render settings. You can click render as up here, go to file render as. Some people seem to struggle with this. I don't know how, but they do. So just name it whatever. Test. Test 6. Okay. And I use Sony AVC.mp4 and a bunch of other numbers. And then I use, for my template, I use Internet 16.9 HD 30p. And then you want to go to Custom. Everything's fine here, but go to Project and set it to Preview. Click OK and go ahead and save it. I'm going to pause the video just because I guarantee you this is already a long video. All right, so just finished up, and you're pretty much done right there. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, so here's what the clip will look like, I guess. I can show you. Whoa, that starts up fast. So you have to be realistic. That's about what YouTube is. So you can read everything. It's pretty decent quality. Very good for a dazzle. Um, again, click on that little notation. I don't know which corner I'm going to put in, but click on it, and you'll go to my quality set, or, uh, test. So check it out, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out. And I'm coming out with a commentary, to commentary tomorrow with very important news. So please make sure you watch that. And that's it. It's your boy Webster. Peace out.